I mean, you're planning a trip to Sedona and you decide what bike you're gonna bring. You're thinking of square edge rocks, you're thinking of pretty gnarly stuff. Maybe a hardtail isn't your first choice, but I've never ridden the desert with a hardtail, and so I brought it. I'd recommend it. I've got the Sinker Carbon. It's just a really fun hardtail. It's got trail bike geometry. It's not XC. It's not some experimental hardtail with really long reach or something like that. It's a tried and true geometry that makes you want to take flight. It makes you want to go fast. Today's ride was relatively flat and pedally, but there were some good downhill sections and a fair bit of chunky rocks. And I really like the fact that I can just yank the bars up and jump over anything I want to or fly into a rock garden and kind of have the right geometry to get through it without getting thrown off. I like the 27.5 Plus because it gives you a few options when you get into trouble. There's a little bit more cushion, you're not gonna wreck your rim, you don't have that rear suspension to bail you out, but you do have a little bit more rubber. So I've been riding for Diamondback for 10 years now. One of my favorite parts about working with Diamondback is working with the product managers to really come up with and design new bikes that are exactly what we're looking for as athletes, which then translates really well to the consumer and what they're looking for as well. So I brought my Release 29 to Sedona because it's really the most versatile bike in the lineup. What we rode today was pretty classic Sedona. There's swoopy, fun, dirt, single track, and then there's shelves and rocks and stuff you bunny hop over and smash through. Really great bike for the job here, and the 29-inch wheels just roll nice and fast over everything and carry your momentum and your speed. The level link platform keeps it really efficient for the climbing, especially with all of the technical climbing here. It keeps the traction on the ground, so your wheel is really tracking all of the features on the terrain and keeping that traction there while we're pedaling up the hills. It's been a really fun bike to take from the drawing board to the trail and this same bike I rode in Kurdistan in the middle of nowhere and here I am riding in Sedona so it's a really versatile kind of do anything bike. I've been racing bikes since I was maybe 14, 13 years old. I've been racing downhill for a majority of those years. This is my first time at Sedona Mountain Bike Festival as well as riding in Sedona. I was riding the release 27.5 all weekend and the first thing I noticed while I jumped on it was just really how playful and fun it was. It was a super responsive bike. I was able to pick it up and place it right where I want it to be. What this bike is, is really built for is the person that's really trying to have a one bike does all bike. Someone that is maybe not just getting into mountain biking, is a little more experienced, but is, is riding a, a wide range of trails. 